What's up y'all and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing some of my postpartum nutrition and things that I like to eat. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Okay, so I first wanna say, um, I definitely downplayed the amount of free time that I would have postpartum. Um, now I'm in the swing of things, so I feel like I can cook better meals for myself. But in the beginning, I was struggling and it was just a humbling experience because I needed a lot of help. But usually I like to start my day off with something heavy. Um, not even now, but always I like to start off my days with something heavy, but especially breastfeeding. Um, I usually have midnight snacks, but I'm going to go ahead and start with the rising. So in the rising, right when I wake up. I like to start my day off with my daily green boost barley grass as well as my postnatal postnatal ritual vitamins and usually i'll have something let's start off with the avocado toast everything that i'm going to be sharing in this video i did so much research on i literally googled um vitamin deficiencies for breastfeeding moms or common vitamin deficiency for plant-based moms and all of the deficiencies, I, based, I, I took the list of all of the deficiencies and I looked at all of the ingredients that had, or all of the ingredients that had the vitamins and the deficiencies and I made sure to mix those into my diet. Now the reality was is I didn't necessarily have all the free time that I just thought I was gonna have because I just thought being a mom was gonna be so easy. So starting off with these two in the rising have been a saving grace because the reality is some days I don't eat um all of the things on this list these virtual vitamins have been amazing throughout my pregnancy and to be honest these were the only ones that did not make me sick and they didn't have that nasty period where you had to eat something with these and like i mentioned the reality was is i didn't always have time to eat while i took my prenatals or while i had my barley grass water so having these without an upset stomach was great this was the only company where they basically broke down the supply chain in a visible way of where you can where they actually sourced some of their ingredients from with vitamins like vitamin k2 vitamin a vitamin b12 zinc vitamin e folate and omega-3 dha which on the internet seems like it's impossible to get especially for plant-based moms you guys can use my code findguru10 at checkout or click the link in my bio for 10 percent off of your first three months of ritual in the daily green boost one reason why i was taking this while i was pregnant and then postpartum is in just let me see in just two tablespoons it has 20 um 27 percent of folate and it has 410 percent of vitamin k which helps with blood clotting um because i had him natural at home um, making sure that I regulate my blood loss was really important to me. So this one was super essential during the postpartum time, especially because um, I did release a lot of blood. So with these, I will go ahead and show you my avocado toast. The avocado toast is on a seedy, grainy bread. And then I just top on my farmer's market avocado. And on the avocado toast, I like to use my organic bean sprouts. And then I make a pickled onion. And I so for my pickled onions, I'm gonna go ahead and put my liquid aminos, my lime olive oil, as well as some lemon or lime. I put citrus on everything, just giving you a heads up. And then I put the onions on top and I, I like to basically make everything mere meal preferable. So I just make this at one time and then kind of use it throughout the week for my sandwiches or my avocado toast. And chia seeds was one of the superfoods that was great for pregnancy as well as breast milk. So I add some chia seeds to the avocado just for a little bit of texture and top it off with some sea salt and some additional lime. Another daily must have for me is oatmeal. I really... I'll just say that breastfeeding has been or was such a journey for me and I researched any and everything that would help me increase my milk supply. I ended up getting mastitis and my milk supply completely tanked and oatmeal was something I consistently saw that a lot of moms use to increase their milk supply and it definitely worked for me. 
So every rising, I try to have a big bowl of oatmeal. If not in the rising, I like to make oatmeal bars or have some type of oatmeal cookie um, or lactation cookies with oatmeal in it, or even if it's oat flour. So for my oatmeal, I like to put, I don't, and don't buy the instant oatmeal. Don't be, don't be nasty. Get the real um, rolled oats. And to dress up my oats, I use all things, once again, that are nutrient dense that are gonna help my baby's digestive system and also increase the nutrients in my breast milk. With dates, dates are calcium rich and high in fiber. Then I like to add a little bit of flaxseed is a healthy fat and the healthy fat component of breast milk, milk to promote a child's brain development. And it also contains prolactin, which is the hormone that tells your body to produce more milk. I don't consistently put the same fruit in my oatmeal, but today I'm gonna do bananas, and bananas is good because it has high level of potassium. Fats were like the most consistent thing that kept saying that increase that it increased the um, that it helps you increase your milk supply. So almond butter toast. On the almond butter toast, I like to put it in the cast iron. The cast iron just makes it a little bit better than just putting it in the toaster. And for that, I just put on a big scoop of almond butter then top it off with hemp seed and some cinnamon. The cinnamon helps with your letdown, and letdown is basically when the milk extracts at a faster pace. And the pumpkin seeds were also one on the list as far as what really helped increase your milk supply as well. This next meal is my hummus sandwich, which has chickpeas, um, heirloom tomatoes, olives, and basil. Now chickpeas was something that was kind of up in the air because my baby did have a lot of gas and was very sensitive to a lot of the gassy foods that are on the gassy food list for nursing moms. So I learned a lot of things the hard way, but now um, because his digestive system is developed, this has been great to incorporate in my diet. So for my hummus sandwich, I like to put my bread on the cast iron and then just layer both sides of the bread with some hummus. In between the sandwich, I like to add some heirloom tomatoes that are soaked in some balsamic vinegar as well as olive oil. And then I layer a lot of basil. Once again, I don't know what's in basil that makes it so important, but a lot of people on YouTube, because I was literally on YouTube um, when my milk supply was dipped in the middle of the night just to try to figure out um, what would help me for the next feeding. And a lot of moms said, um, basil pestos really helped increase their milk supply so i like to add basil on top of this and then put some olives this is also very filling and i like to pre-cut these and um keep them to snack on throughout the day in between pumping or breastfeeding next is my yogurt bowl and in my yogurt bowl i use coconut yogurt as well as some chia seeds in about two tablespoons of chia seed, it contains 179 milligrams of calcium. So I add about four tablespoons of chia seed with about, I don't know, I just kind of guesstimate, um, some coconut yogurt and then I mix it up and I usually like to leave it overnight or if I'm making it in the rising, I kind of just let it chill in the fridge while I prepare my morning smoothie or or during the time that I'm pumping. On top of the yogurt bowl, I then like to add some flax seeds, some hemp seed. Sometimes I'll add some pumpkin seeds. And then I always add um, a fruit of choice. And that is today is going to be passion fruit, which is super high in vitamin C. And it's also my favorite fruit. When I was going through my trials of breastfeeding and gassy foods and making, and making my baby constipated, um, I would eat dates and the next day my baby would release. Um, so I always eat dates and I incorporate it in my diet and it has helped my baby be regular. So anytime that I'm having any type of trouble with him, I just eat a few dates and then he does what he needs to do and my mom is happy because she's obsessed with that aspect of Next is my CMOS smoothie, which you guys already know I've shared a hundred times at this point. So CMOS has 92 out of the 102 vitamins and minerals that your body needs. Um, so I always make sure to have CMOS at least twice, three times a week. Being a mom, sometimes getting the blender out and making a smoothie is just something that I don't want to do, whether it's too many dishes or the time or the effort. But I still try to do it at least twice a week. 
So in this smoothie, I'm gonna add some mangoes, strawberries, passion fruit juice, some sea moss, some blue vervain, and some ginger root. I am starting to work with herbs again. It was something that was very uncomfortable for me, um, but with proper guidance of somebody, um, of a herbalist who resonates with me has helped guide me in the herbs that I should stay away from as I'm nursing, as well as the herbs that I'm able to work with again. So I like to add, I don't really measure this out. I'll add my mangoes first, then strawberry, then a little bit of passion fruit juice. And just to add the liquid, I also add coconut water. Coconut water is great for lactation. So I just try to make sure that every ingredient that I'm using is intentional. Then I add a little bit of ginger root because it's great for immune boosting and it also um, helps with your letdown. And a little bit of blue vervain. Blue vervain is the love herb. It helps with your oxytocin, which then helps with your breastfeeding. And then last, I like to add the sea moss because I don't like to process it and blend it more than I have to. And last but not least is my green juice. I have seen so many moms who say that they believe that their love and consistency for drinking green juice is the reason why their babies also like green juice and I cannot wait to give my son a kale, spinach, apple juice in a cup that I make in the rising with me. So I have tried to incorporate greens every day, whether that be with my green boost or having an actual green juice. So for my green juice, I always make sure that celery is my base. I just love it. Love the way it makes my skin feel. Love the way that it makes my skin look. Love the way that it makes my body feel just clean and clear. And I also feel like it helps with my son's digestive system as well. But I usually just you I usually always make sure that cucumber and cucumber and celery are at the base. And today I'm gonna add some apples as well as oranges and and a green bell pepper. I kind of mix this up and I have, uh, I kind of mix this up and I just kind of do my own thing. I don't really measure out, um, but this just helps make me feel clean. And because I am extracting all of the, um, the pulp, AKA the fiber, the juice is able to penetrate my cells and give me all of the nutrients that I need. And this allows me to still have allows me to still keep the same type of routine that I liked before I was, when I was pregnant or before I was pregnant. All right, y'all, so that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or anything that has helped you as a nursing mom or somebody in the postpartum period, go ahead and share your advice down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next upload. Peace out.